this is a walkthrough video of 1283 Panama. This is, um, this is in a very special location up here by Ringling College. It is on the water, it's on the Whitaker Bayou, and it's like the land that time forgot. It's completely overgrown, and it's about to storm here, so I'm trying to get this in before I get all wet. So the roof was actually put on in, in 2005, so that roof, even though it looks old, um, is 13 years old, so I guess it is old, but this is a block construction house. It's almost 2,000 square feet, so it is kind of funky here, so I'm going to try and turn some lights on, but it has an open floor plan that opens onto the kitchen here. The this house needs some work, it needs a fair amount of work. I'm trying to get to the kitchen lights here so I can see what's going on. Well, the first thing I would do is put some lights in. And so, <laughs> I don't know if there's no lights in here or what. Nothing seems to work, it's awfully dark. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on. Um, whoa, step down. There's a light. So. I can't quite figure out if this was the, yeah, I think this was the garage. We got the washer and dryer there, and then this is a artist workshop. That's kind of cool. So this was the garage, it's been enclosed, and it's kind of an artist workshop here, which is neat. Oh, I hear that cat. So this house has a pool, but it needs a lot of work, and has a meowing cat as well. Boy, it's really raining now. Believe it or not, there's some beautiful terrazzo underneath this tile. It's unfortunate that it was uh, tiled over. But this is a bedroom. This is a mid-century modern house. It has some really cool things like the old plaster and the angle. If you notice the angle on the, um, on the door frame. So these are frameless doors, which is actually kind of cool. This bathroom, the tile is actually in good condition. This, this is cool tile. I mean, this is all that mid-century modern stuff. You can't, you know, you can't really replicate that. But you could paint this tile, and I think I might do something like that. This bedroom is a bedroom. Good-sized bedroom. It has some parquet floor. The windows are old here. And this has a closet. Over here is a sink, and we do have a roof problem there or past problem don't know but that is an issue so we have another we have tile there so now we have ah, this is the bed master bedroom which is to be remodeled as they said and you can see the exposed block it's ready to it's all been kind of halfway torn apart but not not finished the ceiling in here actually is pretty cool not sure how this is, this is just crazy, I, I have to say. This is a weird little wall that's been put up with a, with a slider. I don't know if they were going to make some sort of artist studio here or what. Now, I, they wanted to cut a loft or something in there because there's a window up there. Wow, this is like a blank canvas. There's a big picture window here. That insulation all taken down. I wish there was light. Unfortunately, it got dark as it rained, but um, let me see if I plug this in. No, nothing to plug it into. Hmm. Looks like the air condi brand new air conditioner, which is nice. The pool area needs a lot of work. Well, maybe this rain will fill up the pool, but uh, the cage is low. And it needs to be rescreened, but it, it's kind of a it's a big pool, it's a deep pool. But the coolest thing about this house is the fact it has a dock. And I am going to run out there really quick in the rain. Maybe not. I don't know if I will. Gotta show you the dock though. There's also a guest house and a shed over there, which is very cool. I don't want to get it all wet right now. Maybe I will in a few minutes. So this is, let's just count these bedrooms. There's a bedroom one, bedroom two, so two guest bedrooms. I guess it's three bedroom, two bath. You can see this is a closet. You can get to the back of the shower, the plumbing there. Another closet. A lot of stuff in here. Um, 
and a pool table and a record player. And so I wouldn't quite call this a bedroom, but I would call it a laundry room workshop. Hi, Cat. And this is just an intriguing room. So I guess this would be the master wanting to be a master bath, and I can't quite see how this would come together. But there's a toilet there. That is, no, that's just sitting there. So I don't know if there's plumbing for a toilet or that has to be installed. There's glass blocks. I think maybe they were gonna make this the bathroom, which kind of makes sense. But I don't know if there's any plumbing. <clears throat> Weird. So, I don't know. I like this house. It's listed at 215, and it, uh, I think there's some opportunity here being on the water, but it's going to take a lot of work. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941 366 0000. Thanks for watching.